It is now among the most valuable startups in the US, behind Uber, Airbnb, Plantier, and WeWork. Although it is having a hard time right now, it is one of the most promising cryptocurrencies. Max here for Crypto School. Today we'll talk about Ripple, a cryptocurrency that has become very popular. So first, we have to differentiate Ripple and XRP. Ripple is the company and XRP is the token, the cryptocurrency that we use to trade. Why is everyone talking about Ripple? Ripple has become very popular because of its big increase last year. Its price increased a lot in 2017. If you had invested $1,000 on January the 1st, 2017, you would now have around $200,000. $200,000. So now you'd have a new car. Okay, we know that Ripple is the company and XRP is the token. But what you also have to know is that Ripple's purpose is to partner with big banks, payment providers and businesses to reduce their transaction costs and increase the transaction speeds. How does Ripple manage this? Well, that's the interesting point. Ripple has three main characteristics. First of all, Ripple transactions are fast as fuck. They take approximately 3.3 seconds. Do you know how much it takes to make a transaction with Bitcoin? 45 minutes. Minutes, not seconds. Second, the cost of a transaction is really low, cheaper than any other crypto, and it's about $0.0004. Third, the scalability. Scalability is the number of transactions per second that Ripple can make, and that's about 1,500 transactions per second, and that's a lot. XRP is centralized. Many people don't consider it as a cryptocurrency because the true nature of a cryptocurrency is supposed to be decentralized. But what does centralized mean? It means that the token is controlled by Ripple. As Ripple holds the majority of tokens, 60% to be accurate, and the transactions are validated only by entities that are selected also by the company. Let's take a look at how banks transfer money today. So if you go on Ripple's website, you see that normal transfers are very slow. They take three to five days to settle. They're expensive, $1.3 trillion in annual cost, unreliable because there's a lot of failure, and unacceptable because people demand a better experience. And this is when Ripple comes into game. Let's compare Ripple and Bitcoin. Ripple, just as Bitcoin, uses blockchain technology, like most cryptos. Second, it's peer-to-peer, -peer, which means that you can send money to somebody else without the need of a middleman. What's different is that Bitcoin is mineable, XRP is not. You can basically trade your computer power for Bitcoin. This is called mining and you can do that with Ripple. And since mining consumes a lot of power, it makes Ripple more eco-friendly. Bitcoin consumes approximately the equivalent of the Irish population in electricity. So now let's compare the numbers. XRP speed is 3.3 seconds, which is very fast. If you compare it to Bitcoin, which is 45 as we said, but even Ethereum is 4.49 minutes. It's a lot. Dash is 14, Litecoin is 12. Even the cost is much lower. Cost of a Ripple is 0.0004 dollars. And if you compare it to Ethereum, it's 0.46. The lowest is Litecoin with 0, 0.12, 12 cents, it's, which is still a lot compared to Ripple. In terms of scalability, the most scalable is Litecoin with 56 transactions per second, which is nothing compared to Ripple with its 1,500 transactions per second. Some pioneers in adopting Ripple system estimated that they could reduce their transaction cost by 60%, which is huge for them. It would benefit everyone, users like banks. It is already being used by over 100 different institutions, among which the payment provider MoneyGram, and some of the big banks worldwide, such as American Express and UBS, and it's deploying very fast. Some days ago, a partnership between Santander and Ripple has been announced. It will even allow people to send money via Apple Pay using Ripple. Okay, till now you're probably thinking, wow, Ripple's the next Bitcoin. 
But before you spend all your money on it because this technology looks incredible, you also have to know that there's one problem. The vast majority of those institutions do not use XRP. They actually don't need to use XRP to use Ripple systems. There are three different systems implemented by Ripple. XCurrent for banks, XRapid for payment providers, and XVIA for businesses. But they don't need to use XRP token, which means that even though Ripple is doing pretty good with more and more partnerships, it doesn't necessarily mean that XRP value will increase accordingly, since they don't have to use it, and they probably won't. However, it is starting to be used more and more. Recently, SBI, a fund transfer operator, announced that they will use XRP, which is good news. The team is constantly growing, and many developers already have experience with blockchain, which is good news because they know what they're doing. By the way, they are currently actively looking for developers, so if you're interested, check it out. If you want to learn more about Ripple and get informed, you can follow them on Twitter and comemarketcap.com. We also make videos in the future, so if you're interested, please subscribe, you get notified when new videos are released, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.